Safe House here in Lake Orion, Michigan. We are here. It's presented by NFHS Network for Lake Orion Varsity Boys Basketball against the Royal Oak Ravens. I'm Ryan Bunn. I'm here with my partner, Andrew Stewie Stewart. Stewie, what are the keys to the game here for those Royal Oak Ravens? We talked to uh, head coach Aaron Smith before the game, and he said, play defense, play our defense, play our game. Make sure we got a lockdown on this good defense team. And we see our Lake Orion team has lots of key players, key seniors. And they got, uh, from a Royal Oak defense standpoint, we got a lockdown on those players. Uh, you got to play confident uh, Make sure we control our ball. This is a Royal Oak team who shoots lots of threes. They had three, 13 made uh, threes against their last game against Bishop Foley. And if they want to win this game, they need to play good in the perimeter and convert those threes. Yeah, what about the keys for the Lake Orion Dragons here? We also caught, uh, talked to Coach Jose Andrade before the game, and uh, he said no turnovers. That's a big thing. No turnovers. Protect the ball on offense. Make sure you control. Play our game. Make sure as we're moving up the court to make sure we play our game and let not let Royal Oak take possessions that they don't need. Be protective of the ball. And here we are here, just moments away from the tip-off. we got starting lineups here for Lake Orion Dragons. Nate Havrilla, DJ Maru at the 1-2, and two. Kevin Tobe, Quay Fly, Blake Liddell starting out for the Dragons. And here's the tip, won by Liddell. And there's DJ, and now Nate Havrilla will run the offense here for these Lake Orion Dragons. Havrilla out to Liddell. Back to Nate. DJ Morrow, Gorilla. Kevin Tobe now getting his first touch of the game. Back with DJ Morrow. Tobe drives, puts it up, a little short. Rebound by Royal Oak, tipped away by Blake Liddell, and it will stay with the Ravens. Ravens starting lineup here, you got Camden Clark. Nicholas Hoffman, Dylan Hoffman, who are brothers, Ryan Lasner, and Davis Arbeiter. Royal Oak Ravens are a solid 5-0 to start the season, undefeated, although they have yet to play a real quality opponent, just one opponent that is in Division I basketball here. So this is just their second game on, against a Division I opponent. And they are tipped out of bounds, and it will go with Lake Orion High School. We see uh, number three, DJ Morrow. He uh, suffered an injury, a wrist injury, uh, against Seaholm at the O Arena. And uh, this is the first game back from that injury. Uh, see how he uh, plays in this game, and is a factor for the Dragons' offensive defense. Yeah, definitely great key to have him back, as they've struggled a little bit without him. Of course, they lost those back-to-back -back games to Clarkson. Is there Blake Liddell? Rebounded there by Arbiter. He's going to take it up. Oh, miscue there on the pass, and it goes out of bounds. An unforced turnover here. Dragons get the basketball. We're seeing early how uh, uh, playing not the great of teams early for Royal Oak is suffering them against a uh, great team like the Dragons so far, a quality team. Let's see how it affects it through the rest of the game. Yeah, they're not used to that intensity that you get out of these big opponents like these Lake Orion Dragons. Is there DJ Morrow? Puts up a three. It's good. Big time three here. DJ Morrow. And now back comes Royal Oak. It's Hoffman. Cannon Clark. Will they go Lassner? Lassner taking it back to Hoffman. Nicholas Hoffman. Over now to Dylan Hoffman. Puts it back into Arbiter. Stolen away by Quay Fly. He is fouled there. That's going to be a push on number 13, Davis Arbeiter. It's the first foul here we've got in this game. Dragons, their record so far this season. They're three and two so far. Of course, losses to Adams and Clarkston. Big one against Adams, lost by 28 points just two games ago. But then they came back, they had a big win against Holly. And so we're gonna see if they can continue those winning ways. 
get into another run here. Grab some wins. There's Morrow. Step back. Three. Short. Rebound. Play fly. There's Blake Liddell. Puts it up. No good. Second one does go. Blake Liddell putting it up through contact here. And up comes the Ravens again. Nicholas Hoffman. He's the younger of the two brothers. He's in 10th grade. And there's a good shot. Won't go. Rebound Liddell. And back comes the Dragons. Going quick. Havrilla tomorrow. Puts it up. And it's going to be a charge on Morrow. A little bit too hard for, uh, to the back as for DJ Morrow. The Dragons early on playing a lot in testing, forcing the turnovers on Royal Oak and not having as many on the offensive time. Exactly what Coach Andrades was talking about. Yeah, not too many turnovers as we saw so far. Dragons up 5 nothing here. A little under 5 to go. Here's Nicholas Hoffman. Taking it slow, taking their time. See if they can get some pressure here. As this Rashad Wilson is checking into the game. His first minutes. It's Nicholas Hoffman again. But the ref is going to call him for a travel here. It's the Lake Orion basketball. Royal Oak coming into the game 5 0, 1 0 in the OAA gold. Uh, haven't played the greatest team. Their latest win against Bishop Foley. They won that game 71 to 43. Here's Liddell, top of the key, back to Quay Fly. Dragons yet to make a substitution. Avrilla, tomorrow, takes it in, puts it up and in. It's good there. Now here's Wilson again. He's going to drive, and he's going to be fouled there on the penetration. And now we've got our first couple shots here at the charity stripe. See how the seniors are con contributing to start off the game. DJ Morrow and Blake Liddell have all the points of the Dragons so far. They, they're leaders. Coach Andrade told us they were going to be leaders, and they're showing it here on the court. First free throw, no good there for Rashad Wilson, senior guard from the Ravens. Second one is also a little long. Both of those off the back iron, and here's Avrilla to Liddell. And Dragons moving a little quick here. Morrow, open three, takes it. A little long, Kevin Tobe rebound. He tries, but he is blocked there. Great block there from Davis Arbiter. Yeah, like you said earlier there, Stewie, these Royal Oak Ravens have not played the best opponents, and it's showing. They're rusty. They haven't played a team as good as the Dragons. As they are getting turnovers, they aren't playing great defense. They're down 7 0 here early. Morrow drives to Havrilla. Foot was on the line. It's going to be out of bounds, and it will go to Royal Oak. Now, checking in for the Dragons here, Caden DeGraff and Reed. Coming on for Kevin Tobe. Here goes Nicholas Hoffman. Now he's found his brother Dylan. Back to his other. Drives. Nice reverse lay there by Rashad Wilson. Royal Oak finally on the scoreboard. Only took him four and a half. Liddell. Here's Avila. Tried to find him. Couldn't get a clean catch on it, and it will go to the Ravens. Here's Hoffman. Our biter. So three for Wilson. Left. Won't go. Rebound Liddell. And here comes Nate Havrilla in the Lake Orion Dragons. Villa, little move, out to fly. Fly drives and makes the bucket. Nice dribble drive there. Quay fly. Now here's Hoffman again. Puts it up, puts up the three. Short air ball there. 
somehow stayed in play, and it will stay with the Dragons. Cabrillo going quick, Liddell, dish, the dime, the and one, it's good. DJ Morrow, count it, and a foul. He's back, he's back, and he's loving it. He's loving it. Dragons really missed him the last two games, and now he's showing his factor on his first game back. And there will be a timeout by the Ravens. Great start by Lake Orion. They're up 11 to two with 2.22 to play here in the first. That foul was on Davis Arbiter for the Ravens. And the last time the Lake Orion Dragons and the Royal Oak Ravens faced off was in 2018, March 1st, 2018, when the Dragons won it at Royal Oak, 63 to 41. The last time these two teams faced off in this arena was on the was on January 30th, 2018, where the Dragons also won that one, 60 to 45. Almost five years ago, it's been a long time that these two teams have not faced off. They won't be facing off again this season, so who knows, it might be another five years before we see these two teams face off again. E.J. Morrow at the free throw line here, looking to convert the and one that he had before the timeout. And he makes it. Converted and one. Dragons up double digits. And now here's Nicholas Hoffman. Puts it up, the three by all the other Hoffman, and it is good. Royal Oak. That's what, that's what Coach Smith told us that they needed to do to win this game. Show their uh, talent from the perimeter. Expose the Dragons defense. Play Royal Oak basketball. Oh, there's a little trip up there. Finds Liddell, Liddell gets in, puts it up, and another and one. Another big and one. Seeing the Dragons, the physicality here is just dominating these Royal Oak Ravens. Blake Liddell using his size there, absolutely mossing the Royal Oak defender right there. Taking it over his back, uh, over the Royal Oak uh, defender's hands and getting that and one. Puts it up, it is short though, cannot convert, and it will go back here to the Ravens. Can they use that momentum from the three to get something going here? See if they can Gets him going on these Dragons. Here's Hoffman to Hoffman. Pump fake. Back to Dylan Hoffman. Back to Nicholas Hoffman. At the corner. Dribble. Drive. Kicks it out. Rashad Wilson. Oh, in and out there. Won't go in. Saved there. By Cannon Clark. Puts up the three. No good. Fidel saves it and puts it off a Royal Oak defender, and it will go with the Lake Orion Dragons. And now checking into the game here, number 10 for the Dragons, Ethan Sharkey. Sharkey played a real factor uh, against Clarkston as the Dragons lost a tough game against them, 35 to 38. Uh, he's a big bench player for the Dragons, and he really uh, stepped up uh, from DJ Morrow's injury uh, to make that a close game and also against the rival. Gabe Scott is also coming into the game here for the Dragons. He's number zero. Out now. Graf and Reed to Liddell. He's triple covered in the paint. And three seconds on the Dragons will go back with the Royal of Ravens. These are big minutes here for the Dragons, especially Ethan Sharkey. If he can get a lot of minutes this year, develop, hopefully come into a big star for the Dragons when they need him as a senior next year. There's a drive, nice bucket there from Cannon Clark. Royal Oak starting to penetrate a little bit more. There's Gabe Scott running away there from the defender. Picks it out to Graffinry. Back to Scott. Here's Sharkey. Just 
start. It's still in half and on Gets it out to Sharky, the three. A little long. Rebounded by the Ravens. Nicholas Hoffman. Time's ticking here. Here's Dylan Hoffman, the three. Won't go. And that will be it here. The end of the first quarter. Dragons doubling the Royal Oak Ravens score here. It's 14 to seven. Blake Liddell with uh, three rebounds in that fir first quarter, uh, using his size to his advantage and uh, really exposing the Royal Oaks rebounding, re rebounding ability. Royal Oak wants to come back in this game. They got to make sure uh, they are protecting the ball. They had a few turnovers in that uh, first quarter that gave the Dragons some points off of those turnovers. They also need to convert from the perimeter. They. Uh, I think one for two on three-point shots. Uh, they need to protect the ball. I'm sure uh, Coach Smith has talked to them about playing their style of defense. The Dragons are controlling the game on defense. They play defensive basketball. We saw that against Seaholm. We saw that against Clarkston. If they Dragons play their basketball, play their defensive basketball, they're going to win this game. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Getting ready to check back in here. Second quarter is about to start here. Now, one thing that we did talk about earlier here was just the schedule difference about how Lake Orion Dragons have to play so many tough opponents in such a long stretch. Every single one of their opponents is a Division I team, and their schedule played so far has a combined record of 18 and 12, compared to Royal Oak Ravens' combined opponents' record is just 12 and 15. Got to travel here on the Ravens. And it will be an inbound here for the Lake Orion Dragons. New five back in here for the Dragons. DJ Morrow, Nate Havrilla, Caden DeGraffenry, Ryan Rushlow, and Kevin Tobe is checking back into the game as well. Here's Rushlow to Havrilla. Finds Kevin Tobe in the paint. Nice feed there from Nate Havrilla. That's a great pass. Kevin Tobe, all he had to do was put it in. It was Hoffman. And it's going to be another walk here on the Ravens. Back to back possessions with a travel. Hate to see it for the Ravens. They need to limit the turnovers. The Dragons, we know, are going to convert off those turnovers. If they have them when I'm on defense, they're going to convert on offense. Yeah, that's what Coach Andrade said. He's trying to limit those turnovers, make sure to capitalize off of the other team's turnovers. Now it's Hayton, Nate Havrilla with a three. It's good! Big time three. Nate Havrilla. And now back come the Ravens quickly. Nicholas Hoffman. Get some space. Passing it out to the other Hoffman. Shot won't go here. Rebound for Morrow. Ooh, pass a little behind Toe, but he keeps it in. He puts it up. Won't go. Rush low. Passes out to Morrow. Morrow, the three. Wide left. Now here is Luke Lysak. He's taking it up. His first couple minutes. Nicholas passing it out. The three. No good there for Kenyon Clark. And here's the graphing ring. Drives, passed it to Tobe. Tobe puts it up, was fouled but on the first shot attempt. That second shot will not count. But he will be going to the free throw line for a pair of shots. Royal well, Oak not converting those threes. That's what Coach Smith told us that they needed to do before the game. They need to turn around in the second quarter if they want to head into the sec uh, second half of the momentum. I think the team who heads into the second half of the momentum is going to win this game. First free throw, a little long there, off back rim. We got some subs coming in now for the Ravens. Ryan Lassner, David or Davis Arbiter coming back in. Now we've got Quay Fly coming back in for the Dragons and Blake Liddell coming back in for the Dragons. Kevin Tobe hopes to hit his second of two. 
He hits that one. The one for two on his trip to the free throw line. And now here is Rashad Wilson. The Ravens just won three so far. They need to hit those. It's Lassner back to Wilson. Taking his time at the top of the key with Kevin Tobin the fence. It's Dylan Hoffman to Lassner again. Kevin Clark back to Lassner. Oh, tipped there by Liddell. Great defense. Tipped away by Liddell, but will stay here with these Royal Oak Ravens. Down 13. Ref says no to the backcourt. He didn't gain possession in the front court. Nice little move there from Wilson. Tobe playing some great defense here. The whole Dragons team is. And it's going to be a jump ball here. Possession arrow going towards the Dragons. Great hustle defense here by the Dragons. Great play by DeGraff and Reid. Jumping for that loose ball. This is this is a Dragons team that loves to be scrappy, play that scrappy defensive ball, jump for loose balls. Yeah, great on-ball defense there by Tobe. Quay Fly was able to just pick that up. That loose ball, dive on it. Force the jump ball, end game possession here for the Dragons. And here's Tobe. Drives, bounces off the iron and in. Nice bucket there from Kevin Tobe. And now here come the Ravens, in trouble here. Down 15. What can they do to give these Lake Orion Dragons an answer? Arbiter. To Wilson. Kendall Clark slips there. Can't get much stuff open. DJ Morrow on defense there. Open three here for Lassner. Another miss, rebounded by Fly. It's Havrilla now taking it up the court. Yet another missed three for these Royal Oak Ravens. Nice dish there from Morrow. It's Kevin Tobe. He will be fouled here and heading to the line yet again. You can see from DJ his quick passing skills. He's a great passer. We saw in his last game against Seaholm that he played. He had two great assists in that game, uh, both at the end of the quarters in that game, and uh, he's doing it again in this game. Hits his first free throw here. Davis Arbiter has, that's his third foul, fouling Kevin Tobe. Yeah, that's one thing that we've seen here with the Dragons' aggressiveness is they've been able to penetrate to the basket. They get fouled going up. There's been a lot of fouls here early for the Dragons. A lot of trips to the free throw line. And that's stolen there. And now go the Dragons. Here's Gabe Scott. Puts it up. No good. Kevin Tobe puts it up. No good again. Two straight misses. And now here are the Ravens. Wilson lays it in. Calm, cool, and collected. I don't, know, I don't know how the Dragons didn't convert there. Their whole team was at the baseline right there. Yeah, at least three attempts there. All of them probably could have gone in. Not very many of them were contested other than the first one by Gabe Scott. And now he drives again. He is blocked, but he is fouled on. Looks like that foul is going to be on number two here, Rashad Wilson for the Ravens. You see some new names in now for the Royal Oak Ravens. Thomas Romito, number four. The senior guard for these Ravens. And now here is Gabe Scott. First one is no good. Sophomore guard. Another young talent that these Lake Orion Dragons have. They've got a lot of those young players here. Gabriel Scott, Melvin Lung, probably won't play too many minutes today as he plays JV and varsity along with Nick Galbin. And Ryan Rushlow, freshman, he plays some quality minutes for the Dragons. Puts up a shot, way short there from Hoffman. And now the Dragons come quick again. Morrow drives, and it is gonna be a blocking foul on the Ravens. 
See, so we're seeing time and again this dribble drive, the penetration by these Lake Orient Dragons, especially DJ Morrow. Morrow loves to attack the basket. First one falls in. Now back coming in is Nicholas Hoffman for the Ravens. Caden DeGraffenreed is also coming back in for the Lake Orion Dragons. Kevin Tobes from there at half court getting ready as DJ Morrow hits his second. It's Lysak. Pass it out to Wilson. Little move. Not much though. These Dragons are playing tight, tight defense. Limiting these threes that the Royals was known for but that they have not hit quite yet in this game. It's Nicholas Hoffman passing it to Dylan Hoffman. Puts up the J, short. Nice rebound there from Quay Fly, and here's DJ Morrow. Put it up some moves. Dishes it out to Gabe Scott, the three. No good there. Rebound there, nice save. Dragons keep it in, great hustle. DJ Morrow, the three, it is good. That is what you get when you hustle, when you put in the effort, is you get rewarded, and that's what the Dragons just did right there. That's Dragon basketball right there. Pass, bowing for the ball. What a play by number 12, Quay Flyle. Scrapping for the ball. That's the second time we've seen him do that this game. And passing it out to DJ Morrow, who's been converting greatly from the three. And we see it's 30 to 9 right now. They have the momentum. They have the lead by 21. They are dominating. And that play all started off with Caden the Graffin Reed diving on a rebound. Thought it was going to be a jump ball. Tosses it up. Then ball gets tipped, almost goes out of bounds. Saved, of course, by Quay Fly. And then all DJ Morrow had to do was hit the open three. And man, does he always convert those opportunities. He is not gonna miss something like that if you give it to these Dragons. See, uh, the Dragons have been converted free throw line this game, there's been a lot of fouls, and they've been converting at the three-point line. That's a main reason, one of the main reasons that they're up in this game. They, we, they've struggled from the three-point line in their last few games, and now they're converting in this game. That's what they've probably practiced on in the line. Uh, uh, Kevin Tobe is three for four at the line, one of their big players in the game. Yeah, Kevin Tobe, he's been having a quiet but very good game so far. Getting to that line, making those layups by penetrating. We've seen DJ Morrow been finding him quite a bit in the paint. He sneaks in back there. Can't see him. And now here comes the Ravens. Nicholas Hoffman. What can they do to answer? And it's another turnover here. And here's DJ Morrow. He's driving. Quick. Little jelly lay. Shot won't go. Rebounded. But out of bounds was DeGraffin Reed. Could not keep his feet in. Tried to do a little NFL toe tap there, but could not keep those two feet in bounds. Just one is all it takes. It's not college football. <laughs> Got to get both feet in. It's a uh, big last 215 for the Ravens. Got to carry some momentum into half if they want to carry on with the win today. Yeah, you need to get something going into halftime. You need just something to light a spark in your team. Maybe hit a couple threes here down the stretch. Hopefully cut the lead to maybe around 15. Make it somewhat manageable for the second half. Here's Lysak. He drives. Puts it up. He is fouled here. And we've got free throws for the Ravens. That's what they need, drawing some fouls. Going to the paint, going to the line. Getting some points on the board. Yeah, that's what's going to be about. See if they if they can penetrate, either get a foul or kick it out to an open three and get those three-pointers made as Lysak's first free throw of the game is good. Got a second one here. He hits them both here. 
That's what you have to do if you want to get back into a basketball game, converting the free throws. If the Dragons are going to give you shots, take those shots. Now here's Nate Havrilla. Now Ethan Sharkey back into the game to Liddell. Sharkey, the three. No good there, straight backboard. And now here comes the Ravens. A foul there, a little push on Kevin Tobe. His first foul of the game. Just the team's fourth. As we've seen, the Dragons have been playing very fundamental, haven't been fouling a lot, which is surprising because of how physical they've been. And here's Hoffman again, there's another foul here. And it's another little push there. That one comes from DeGraff and Reed. Can't get into foul trouble here. I've seen lat three fouls in the last two, in the bottom 215 for the Dragons. Yeah, you cannot let the Ravens just ease their way back into the game by shooting free throws. And there's Hoffman, puts it up, no good. Saved by Nicholas Hoffman. Gives it to Wilson, Dylan Hoffman. Nice move there, but passes it right to a man in white, Nate Havrilla. Here's Blake Liddell, drives. Oh, tried to find Kevin Toe, but given away there. Goes straight to Thomas Romito. And now here come the Ravens again. Hoffman, Wilson, oh, he had a three there. Not the best pass, it could have been an open three. But now here's Hoffman. Shot won't go, rebound Dragons. Here comes Blake Liddell, finding Sharkey. Back to Liddell, puts it up, no good and they cannot get it in. That's once again that the Dragons have not been able to capitalize off of offensive rebounds. Kevin Tobe and Blake Liddell both went up for the rebound. One of them tipped it, it went out, the other couldn't pick it up. And now it goes back to the Ravens. Down 19 now, they cut it to below 20. Romito. And there's another foul. Like we've seen Stewie, these dragons are getting into foul trouble here. It's not what you want to do late in a half. And the Ravens are converting off of it. That's the thing. You gotta convert points off those fouls. Yeah. The dragons don't give you much in these games. So when they do give you something, you've got to convert. You've got to convert. You get free throws, you've got to hit both of them. Now here's Wilson. Passing it out to Ryan Lassner. Romito. Hoffman, the three. It's good. Nine seconds left here. Eight, seven, six, under five. Here's Kevin Tobe. What can he do? Can he get a shot off? To Adele. Not enough time. And that is the end of the half here. Dragons up 30 to 14. We are gonna now head to a commercial break. We'll be back at halftime. We are back. We are back here from halftime here. Dragons up 30 to 14. Speaking of some stars here, we've got Former Lake Orion High School varsity basketball players, Alden Ritt and Trevor Witt in the house here, sitting in the stands here. Alden Ritt, he goes to Grand Valley University, Grand Valley State University, excuse me. And so back here, we've got some stars. Everybody start this game back up. We've got some halftime stats here. DJ Morrow leads the Dragons with 13. Kevin Tobe has got seven. Liddell's got four. And Liddell also has five rebounds. Great start so far for him. A few more rebounds and three more buckets away from getting a little double-double here. Be nice to have. We'll start off with the Ravens. Here's Hoffman for Sean Wilson. He's got four points so far in this game. Arbiter. Arbiter's in a little foul trouble so far. He's got three fouls. Hoffman to Wilson. The three. Long to Dylan Hoffman. And got a jump ball here. Possession arrow goes to the Dragons. 
saw Royal Oak really controlling the game going into the second half. Uh, they've kind of done it so far, but the Dragons stopped them forcing that jump ball right there. See if they could do it to continue their momentum that they have. Yeah, if they would have hit that three there, it would have been a great start to the half. Unfortunately, couldn't convert. So the Dragons are right back in it now. It's the Dell. Got Nate Havrilla. The Dragons, the first half, shot 70% from the free throw line. And they had three threes compared to just two threes from a good three-point shooting team. And the Ravens, is there going to be a foul here? A shooting foul, and it looks like Quay Fly is going to head to the free throw line here for the Dragons to shoot number 11 and 12 free throws for the green and white. Well, the Royal Oak Ravens, their free throw shooting in the first half was pretty good. They shot 100%. Went two for two. That's what you need. If you're not converting from the perimeter or the mid-range, you need to do it at the free throw line. Yeah, that's how. That's one of the things that they're going to need to do to get back in the game. Second free throw. Misses again here. Way fly. Not a good trip to the free throw line. Here's Wilson. A little shake and bake. Kevin Tobe. Played some great defense so far. That's one of the things that I've seen in this game. Nice bucket there. Camden Clark gets a little contact by Blake Liddell and goes up with it, puts it in. We saw in the JV game, their Royal Oak team came back. Let's see if this varsity uh, Royal Oak team can come back. Yeah, the JV team was down. Oh, there's a three by DJ Morrow. It is good. DJ Morrow must have heard you, and he said, not today. They're not letting the comeback happen here. But now here's Hoffman looking for an answer. Looks like he might have done a walk, and he did. Referee does a little cha-cha, and it's going to the Dragons. Another travel. We saw that a lot, a lot, a lot in that first quarter and the start of the second quarter from the Ravens. A lot of walks, a lot of travels. Got to stop that because the Dragons will convert on the other side of the ball. Yeah, that's just not how you get back in the games. You cannot have empty possessions, especially ones that end in turnovers. And now here's Liddell trying to go to work. Not much there. Morrow can't get it. Here's Hoffman. Dylan Hoffman dishes it. Shot will go. Rebound is up for grabs. Kept in by Wilson. We saw another great effort there from Quay Fly. And there is yet another travel. My, oh my, we've been seeing it all day. Ravens in travel, having travels in their nightmares tonight. They're shooting themselves in the foot. Yeah, they're, they're getting good possessions, but then they just give it away with a violation. Oh, there's a good steal here. Getting a possession. It's a great steal there from Cameron Clark. Now here's the three by Arbiter. Shot won't go. Rebound. Cameron Clark again. Dishes, drives, shot will go. Another rebound here for Blake Liddell. It's six of the game. Them. Tobe blocked there. Seeing some good defense here from Royal Oak. As there's going to be a foul, foul on Kevin Tobe. Royal Oak con controlling the defense as much as they can besides that DJ Morrow three. They need to start, uh, keep doing that and get some points on the board in this third quarter. Three points in three minutes for the Dragons. Royal Oak defense, like you said, Stewie, holding them off. And now here is a big three. Our biter won't go. Rebound Liddell, but gives it away. Another shot. It's going to be a two-pointer for Clark. Shot won't go. Out of bounds. And it will go to the Dragons. Rashad Wilson tipped it out of play. If you're Royal Oak, you got to be shaking your head on that one. Two missed wide open opportunities from the perimeter. Where you've been scoring in your last five games and you don't convert them. You needed that to go if you're Royal Oak. Yeah, Royal Oak's offense so far this season has been really good as there's a foul on a push. Shot won't count. Foul. Number one, Kim Clark. 
like I was saying, we're look Ravens. They've had great offense, high scoring offense, 63.2 points per game. And they've scored 70 twice so far this season. And here's Mar, a wide open triple. It is good again. Big time three for DJ Morrow. You can't leave him open. He's going to convert on that every time. He's a top 50 player in the Oakland press. He's going to convert that. Here's a shot. Won't go. Rebound, Quay Fly. And it's going back to the Dragons. That is DJ Morrow's second three of the quarter. He's been catching fire here. He's got the only points for the Dragons so far, all six. Got Havrilla trying to slow it down. Here tomorrow. Liddell. With five. Morrow. Here's another good example of a defense. And the Dragons caught a timeout. There, well done there by Coach Andradas. Not allowing for a jump ball there. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. The Dragons to keep what they're doing. Locking down on defense, limiting the threes from Royal Oak. They have a 20 point lead right now. They, they just need to keep that going through the game. Not blow it like our JV team did. Our JV team was up 19 points, the Dragons are, and the Royal Oak team came back. We see, we have three minutes and 40 seconds plus a fourth quarter left in this game. There's still plenty of basketball left to be played. This, this Dragons team is not in the open seat. Royal Oak needs to convert from the perimeter, force the Dragons into tough shots, and draw fouls on the offensive side of the ball. Yeah, we need to see that Royal Oak high-scoring basketball team, the team that knocks down those threes, team that wins big, team that averages a 20-point scoring margin per game. They would average a 20-point win every game. This one not looking like it's going to be a 20-point win for Royal Oak, at least. The Opposite. Dragons lead by 20. Yes, there. And now here is Gabe Scott for the Dragons. Taking his time. Looking to move. Looking for a double team here. Another great defensive possession. Another timeout. And it is another timeout by Coach Jose Andradas. These Ravens. Putting the pressure on the Dragons here. Great defense, great effort. Causing Coach Andradas to waste two timeouts and minutes. You can't have that in the second half. You might need those timeouts later in the fourth quarter. If you're the Ravens, you need to lock down deep, and your next possession is gonna be a big one. Get yourself some momentum after a stop and keep that momentum rolling. Once you get a little bit of going, it could go, it could go miles for you. Yeah, Coach Andrade's just used two timeouts in a row. So if you're the Ravens, if you get some momentum going, Andrade's is probably not gonna wanna call that timeout, or he's gonna be at least a little more hesitant to slow down that momentum, as he doesn't wanna waste any more. As like you said, there is not much time here to waste to timeouts in the second half, especially if Royal Oak decides to make a little comeback. Dragons still up 20 though. Still not super close, but they've been putting up a good fight here defensively. And there is a foul on Wilson. Coach Smith couldn't believe that. Coach Smith not too happy there on the sideline. Shot Wilson's second, team's third of the half. Tomorrow finds Tobe. It's Kevin. Tobe. Oh, another bad pass here. Andrade's not happy with it. He said before the game, limit the turnovers. Yeah. <laughs> you can see on the sideline or on the side of the court, he is not happy right now. No, he is not. Now here's Royal Oak, Arbiter, to Wilson. Wilson, jab step, at the free throw line. Dishes it, passes to Kendrick Clark, count it, and a foul. There it is, there that it is. That is what you need if you are the Royal Oak Ravens here. Need to drive, get free throws and that is Kevin Tobes, third foul. He's gonna go have a conversation with the bench. 
First, and there's a converted and one. Looks like we're gonna see Quay Fly checking in the game for Blake Liddell. So take a little break. Kevin Tobe stays in the game despite the three fouls. And just fly on the inbound. The graph and read. Nice little move there. Gets around the defender, and it's a foul. You know, you got to see if you're the Ravens here. You've got to play aggressive, but you can't foul. Like how the Dragons played it in the first quarter, in that first half of the second quarter. Playing aggressive, but not fouling. Absolutely. If you get into foul trouble early here, you put every time you foul the Dragons, you're going to put them at the charity stripe. And they're going to convert. And now here's DJ Morrow with another three. Oh, my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. DJ Morrow is red hot. It's another three here in this third quarter. All their points. What, oh, and it's stolen again here. Great defensive effort from Quay Fly. He has been incredible on the effort standpoint in today's game. The graphic read drives. Little Euro step tomorrow. A uh, little short there. And the heat check fade away. This is Kendrick Clark. Puts it up and in. Nice layup there. Finishes through a little bit of contact there from DJ Morrow. Now the Dragons looking to slow it down here. Up 18. DJ Morrow with the ball. Getting doubled. But gets away from it. Dancing his way around the court. Double team here. Oh my goodness. DJ Morrow moving beautifully. And it's going to be a travel here on Quay Fly. And now we see the Dragons walk with the basketball. Royal Oak, they're doing a good job. Not a bad job. They've held up the Dragons to nine points this quarter. But, but they've all been threes. All, all been threes, all by DJ Morrow. Stop DJ Morrow, stop the Dragons offense. Now we are back with the Ravens. Oh, it's, an un it's a turnover there. Gabe Scott going up with it. Rejected there. Great block there from Dylan Hoffman. There's another example of the great defense that we've seen so far in this quarter from the Royal Oak Ravens. Dylan Hoffman said, get that out of here. He's in a size to his advantage. You got that right there, Stewie. Now here's the Rilla. Tomorrow. Thought about a three again. He's going to be fouled here. Two shots here. Um, DJ looking to convert. He, he's been a big player as Blake Liddell comes in and Gabe Stott heading out on the game. Number 11, Ryan Lassner coming in for the Royal Lake Raisins. And number two, Rashad Wilson going out for the Ravens. And the Dragons back with it here on the inbound. It's Nate Havrilla tomorrow. He's going to do it up very tightly there at the three-point line. Oh, and there's another turnover. Andradis, again, not happy. Turns to his bench and tells them not to turn it over anymore. He's not liking it. It's what he said before the game. He wasn't going to be happy with it. We turned the ball over. There's Romito, and he is fouled. It looks like he's going to head to the line for two shots. And we see again the Ravens are drawing the foul off the turnover, forcing the Dragons. They're cutting the lead down slowly but surely. It's an 18 point game. I guess it, not that much, but it was a 20 point game. But uh, they're, they're drawing fouls, and that's what they need to have a comeback here. And First free throw miss of the night. Not what you want for a comeback. A missed free throw. Can't be missing too many free shots. Romito looking to hit his second though, cut the lead to 17. He does not rebound fly, and he goes up the court now. Oh. Liddell drives, fouled, almost went in, but he will be heading to the free throw line for two shots. Coach Andrade is there, having a little conversation with point guard Nate Havrilla. Maybe talking about those turnovers that 
Coach Andreas really did not want to happen. That has happened so far here in this third quarter. Blake Liddell hits a free throw here. Now the Dragons have had some offensive trouble so far this season, just averaging 40.4 points per game. They've only cracked 40 twice. Missed the second, rebound Quay Fly. Graffin Reed slowing it down. Morrow hanging on to it. The Dragons looking to crack 40 for just their third time of the season. Drives, shot will go. And now here's Dylan Hoffman. What can he do? And it is going to be a blocking foul on DJ Morrow. Nice penetration from Dylan Hoffman. DJ's second foul in the game. Now here goes Lassner on the inbound. We're going to see it. going to be a hold there on DJ Morrow again. Another foul for Morrow. It's a hold there, an off-ball foul. Here they go. Puts up a three. It will not go here. And now here's Blake Liddell for an opportunity. And the slam! Blake Liddell, 42 for the Dragons as 24 slams it home. The big time jam. What can the Ravens do to answer? A three, it's good. Trading shots there. Puts up the buzzer beater, not even close. And wow, what an ending to that quarter. 42 to 24, Dragons take have a big lead here at home in the field house. Wow. That was a very entertaining quarter there. Saw a lot of defense. You see in the Ravens start to itch their way back or show signs of life at least. That's all we were looking for them is what can they do? Can they show us that they are able to get back in this game? Absolutely. It's big fourth quarter. We're having a few Dragons in kind of foul trouble. We got DJ and Kevin Tobe with three fouls. They don't want to get those last two in this fourth quarter. They will be out of the game. And those are two big players. Yeah, you do not want to lose a great score like DJ Morrow and what we've seen so far, a great defender in Kevin Tobe. Especially late in the game. If, in case, this Royal Oak Ravens make a comeback here, you need that one guy to get a bucket and you need the other guy to get a stop. So you cannot lose two key players here and two starters for the Lake Orion Dragons. Still eight minutes of bas basketball left to play. We have some crazier things happen in the world. Yes, absolutely. Eighteen minutes to, eighteen points is the differential here. Dragons by eighteen. Dragons have five fouls. Ravens have six. Fouls, not too much of an issue here in terms of team fouls. Still some fouls to give. And now here we go. Fourth quarter basketball starts right now. And here come the Royal Oak Ravens. Here's Lysak. Passes it out to Lassner, to Hoffman. Who tried the reverse lay but gets rejected by the rim. Now here's Nate Havrilla. Driving, tip pass. It's yet another turnover. Andrade's not happy. Incoming Gabe Scott will be checking in soon enough. Lassner drives, misses the open lay, but great finish there from Luke Lysak. And again we see the Ravens convert off the turnover. Coach Andrade said, get Nate Rivera out of here. He's turning the ball over, the ball over too much. And that's what he said is not acceptable for this team. Yeah, and just like that, Jose Andrades calls the full timeout. He's going to give his team a talk. You know, when we went to talk to him before the game, like we said time and time again, when we asked him, he turned to us and sort of laughed and said, no turnovers, no turnovers, no turnovers. What have the Dragons done here in the second half? Turn the ball over. It's not what he wanted. It's not the game plan that he was looking for. And the Dragons, and the Ravens, excuse me, are making them pay for it here. 
Lead cut to just 16 now. Just a couple threes away. A little more than a couple. But you never know. Could see a comeback here. See some signs of life from the Ravens. I imagine Coach Aaron Smith has drawn up a great game plan. They need to play their Ravens basketball. They they know what they got to do. Their undefeated season's on the line. They are down by 16 points, but seven minutes and 20 seconds left in this game. He's probably telling them this is still our game. We can still play this game. Yeah, well, you have that chance for an undefeated season. You never want to give up like that too quickly. You know, even though they haven't played the highest quality of opponents, 5-0 is nothing to sneeze at. And the Dragons need to be aware of that. As they have that winning mentality early so far in this season. Royal Oak Ravens, half-court trap here. Time is ticking. Finally get it past half-court. Here's Quay Fly. And there is going to be a foul on the off the ball. Foul here on number 11 for Royal Oak, Ryan Lassner. I don't know about that one. I saw Blake Waddell pull him down, but... That's just his first foul here of the game. I think Blake got, got a little bit, uh, got away with that one. Now here he is at the free throw line. First one is good of the one and one. He will get the opportunity to shoot the second one. Seven and change to play. Second free throw is short. Rebound Wilson. Now here comes Royal Oak. What can they do? Big deep three. Shot won't go. Nice rebound and fouled. You've seen time and again, the three-point shot has not been falling for these Ravens. It's really cost them. Even if they just shoot a little bit better from three, maybe hit 30% instead of the very atrocious percentage that they've shot so far, maybe they're in this game. Isaac dishes it out. Hoffman puts it up, no good. Rebound, Oladell fights for it, but it's gotten there by Arbiter. Here's Hoffman again. Three by Clark, shot won't go. Rebound, Lavorian. With Scott going quick, three on two here. Dribble, drive, draws contact, and it is gonna be a blocking foul on the Ravens. Foul on Davis Arbiter. He has four fouls now. He is in foul trouble. And that's one of your starters. Hate to see that from, from the Ravens, but they gotta pull something out of that hat in this last two minutes and 26 seconds left in the game. First free throw is good from the young sophomore Gabe Scott. Second one also drops in for him. Now here come the Ravens. They're going quick. Lysak. Dribble. That's it back. Hard pass there to Arbiter. To Hoffman. Looks for a cut. Clark puts it up. Is fouled. Two shots. Foul on Gabe Scott here. His first foul. And Camden Clark will be heading back to the charity stripe here. First free throw swishes in for him. Second one also falls in here. And here is Gabe Scott. Kevin Tobe back in. Even with the three fouls. Scott forcing the ball, that's what you don't want to do. Luckily, it was a kick ball from the Ravens. Dragon's gonna keep it here, up 17 with 6.04 to play. 
both teams will be shooting one and ones if they get fouled. And it is a turnover again. DJ Morrow cannot catch it cleanly. It is the Ravens ball out of bounds here right next to the scorer's table. Here's Wilson to Lysak. Gabe Scott applying the pressure on defense. Got a screen. Lysak dishes it to Hoffman. Passes out. Kenna Clark is... It's going to be a charge there. Great job by DJ Morrow drawing the offensive foul. Ball will go to Lake Orion. 5.50 to play. And in come the subs for Lake Orion. Nate Havrilla coming back in. Andradis has cooled down a little bit, giving him another chance. And we're also going to see Caden DeGraff and Reed also back in the game. See this full court press. They have to. Uh, the Ravens down 17. They get it past half court. Dish tomorrow. It is good. Up 19, 5.30 to go. Open three, Lysak. Took a little too much time on it as the Dragons got a contest. Rebounded by Wilson. Ball is tipped around. Morrow fouls, and it will be the Ravens heading to the line for a one and one opportunity. DJ Morrow's fourth foul of the game. He's getting a little foul star, one, one more foul from him, and he's out of the game. He's the Dragons' leading scorer in this game. One and one here, opportunity. First one does go, he will get to shoot the second. Gave Scott checking back in for the man with four fouls, DJ Morrow. Rysak's second free throw also falls in. That's what you need here, hitting those free throws. Down 17, here's Gabe Scott, looking for a trap. And there's a good defensive possession there. This is Dime, Clark puts it in. Just like that, two, four points for the Ravens. Down to 15 point game with five minutes. Under, just under five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Another trap, here's Liddell driving into the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Shot won't go. Rebounded by Wilson. Another empty possession from the Dragons. It's a three. Wide there. No good. Really needed that one to keep the momentum going. Now here's the Dragons. Here's Tobe. Puts it up. Reverse lay. It goes. Nice lay there from Kevin Tobe. Little spin move there. And it's another charge on the Ravens. Great job again. Coach Andrade says pumped up here. He is very happy. And that is going to be foul number five. Got some technical difficulties here on the court. Taking a little bit of time there. That is his fifth foul. Rashad Wilson has fouled out from the game. He put a good shift in. You know, not too many points, not too many rebounds, but he had some great effort out there. And here's Liddell. Nice dish from Kevin Tobe. Liddell puts it up and puts it in. Dragons up. 51 to 32. Up 19 points yet again. Now here's the Ravens. Every time they've tried to get it back in, Dragons just keep that lead. Oh, there's a three. It is good. Banks it home. Nice three, and it's gonna be a timeout here. But some words are being shared, and it's going to be a technical foul here on Dylan Kaufman. On Sportsman Night Talks, and the referee gave him a little T and the Dragons will be shooting a wide open free throw after the timeout here. We've seen Dylan and DeGraffenry getting a little chirpy throughout the whole game, and you see it come, the refs had enough of it right there, teeing them up right there. It finally comes back to bite them. Dragons get that 
technical foul here, opportunity to go shoot a free throw and get the possession. But that was a big time three, nonetheless, from Dylan Hoffman. Guess he banked at home, said the bank is wide open, but this game might just be closed. Yeah. Here, as they are down 16. As you look ahead, uh, the Dragons next Tuesday, January 10th, will be playing the Stony Creek Cougars. And uh, that's a big game for the uh, Dragons. Uh, as the Stony Creek Cougars are a great basketball team in the OAA. Uh, and the game after that is against the rivals, the Oxford Wildcats, on Thursday, January 12th at 7 p.m. Both games will be streamed right here at Lake Orion High School by our Dragon Broadcasting program. You can tune in at dragonbroadcasting.org for both of those games. And funnily enough, the Royal Oak Ravens next game is also against the Stony Creek Cougars on the day before the ninth. That game is also at home for Royal Oak. They're gonna play it in Royal Oak. And now here is the Tech free throw, Gabe Scott, Ken Burks. The first one, he's gonna get two here. Second one, no good there. That technical foul didn't cost the Ravens too much there, but Dylan Hoffman is sitting on the bench now. Coach, not of course, probably not too happy with that one. It looks like he might just sit on the bench for at least a little while, if not the rest of the game. But his brother does check in for him here, Nicholas Hoffman. Applying pressure, here's the Ravens. Wide open, Nate Havrilla. Up to DeGraff and Reed. Puts it back. Back again to DeGraff and Reed. Trying to roll the clock as much as he can. Just pass it to the open man. Keep possession. Liddell, nice job there. Dragons using a lot of time here. Liddell puts it up and in. Finishes through the contact. And there is going to be yet another travel. The travels have been haunting them all game. And wow, oh wow, Dragons get the lead once again back to 19 like we've seen them do time and again. Every time the Ravens make a little run, the Dragons just say, not today. Stopping that one. And the travels have been one what has killed the Ravens this game. They want to be down 19 points right now if it wasn't for those travels because the Dragons have convert off those turnovers every time. Saw a deep pass there from the graphic read. Looks like a quarterback with some nice arc on it. Dragons. Here's Liddell. Avrilla. A lot of space, a lot of time to Tobe. Drives, puts it up. Out on Liddell. Will go to the Ravens. 241 to play. DJ Morrow will be coming back into the game. Does have four fouls, but two minutes and 40 left in the game, up 19. He fouls out, not the end of the world. Yeah, not much time left, so. And they've got a big lead, so they won't need him for later if the game did end up go, coming to down to the line or even going to overtime. And we've got, looks like a foul here on number 11, Ryan Lassner. Ryan Rushlow coming in now to get some more varsity minutes. Coming in for Caden DeGraff and Reed. He's put on a good shift today. A lot of effort between DeGraff and Reed and and Quay Fly. Sorry, excuse me. Mateo DeCio looking to make his first appearance so far in this game. The senior foreign exchange student. Oh, 
It looks like the ref is just having some words here with Coach Aaron Smith for the Ravens. Both coaches, great guys. We met him before the game, talked to him. Nice guys. Yeah, great attitudes coming into this game. Both had high hopes. Only one of them is going to come away with the win here today. Casillo inbounds to Avrilla. Dragons. If they just hang on here. Oh, nice little drive in the layup by Avrilla. Make it up to coach for all those turnovers he had earlier. And it looks like this will be a foul there on DeCio. But if the Dragons can hang on here, start 2023 off right, start it out 1-0. and oh. New year, new basketball team here for the Dragons. Hoping to come up for those two losses that they had last year, that 3-2 and two record in the late seat part of 2022. And now also checking in for the Dragons, Sam Blakely, number 30, junior. Coach Andrade is trying to get some players who don't usually start, trying to get in some play in time, trying to get some experience, because that could play dividends later in the season when, let's say, starter goes down injured or uh, something else, starter gets fouled out or something like that. They could come in, they could step up and make some plays later in the game. Yeah, it's also been great for some development for if next season, if they can come in and, you know, have to replace some star players like DJ Morrow, like Nate Havrilla, like Blake Liddell. You've got to start the development now or else they won't be ready when it comes down to when it's their time. Here's Rushlow. He's one of those players that is going to need to develop. It's going to need to get some quality minutes. DJ Morrow is fouled, took a charge there, and some more players that are going to get some young minutes. It is Melvin Long and Nick Galvin. Two players that play for both the JV and the varsity team. I'm sure those two players are happy to get some revenge against Royal Oak here after they had their loss earlier today. DJ can't believe it. He just fouled out of the game. Can't, I can't believe the call from the ref there. Uh, DJ Morrow, not the happiest camper there on the bench. Drive there. Benito, Glasner. Lysak puts up the three, shot won't go again, and that's been the story here for the Royal Oak Ravens. The threes have not been falling, and the travels have been killing them. Galvin to Blakely to Long. Poor pass there, it's another turnover. Andradis not too happy. Now checking in for the Ravens. Number 32, Emilio Leva Monacota. He passes it in. There's Lysak. Also in the game, getting more, some minutes here for Royal Oak. Number 35, Eddie Skaleski. Dish, Ramito puts it up, puts it in. Cuts the lead to 18. Oh, and we've got player down here for the Royal Oak Ravens. Out comes the coaches and the training staff. And we've got a little break here from action. 48.7 to go. Dragons up 56 to 38. Both teams at 10 fouls. Both teams in the double bonus here. You know, hate to see a player go down with not much time left in the game, especially. Hopefully it's not too bad of an injury. Yeah. Never a good sight when you see a player go down. Once he's up and walking. He does get up, and he is going to walk under his own strength here. And that was number zero, Luke Lysak. The junior guard here for Royal Oak. And now, checking into the game, number 23, Taylor Vance. Freshman guard. Player that I'm sure Royal Oak is going to want to develop here. The young guy already getting minutes on varsity. 
unfortunate circumstances and why he's coming in, but it's always good to see these young guys get minutes. And here's Galvin. The CEO. Nice little move here. He's a tall guy here. He's big. He's skinny. He's fast. He plays some great defense. Blakely to Rushlow. The three. A little long off the back iron. Rebounded though by the Dragons. 25 seconds. Galvin, a little dribble. Passes it to Long. Puts up a three. No good. Rebounded again by the Dragons. Less than 15 to go here. Here's Rushlow. The three. No good again. And it's a shot by the CEO. No good. Five seconds to play here. Stolen again by the Dragons. And that will. Oh, almost hit the buzzer beater. Just tossed it up for fun. And that will be it here from the field house. Dragons 56, Royal Oak Ravens 38. Stewie, what did you see out of that game that you liked so far from both teams? I saw the Dragons playing their type of basketball. Good defensive basketball. Not um, forcing... They were forced turnovers, let's be honest. Coach Andres was a habit. They'll definitely work on that in practice next week as they play Stony Creek and Oxford next week. But moving into next week, you got to carry the momentum from this game into the game against the Stony Creek Cougars and the big rival game against the Oxford Wildcats. They're going to go 2-0 on the season there as they won their first game against them at Oxford High School. Uh, yep. Royal Oak, they could build off this loss. They, they played a, good, a decent game against a good Lake Orin Heen. They could uh, build on it, work on not uh, traveling as much, but playing their type of basketball as they go into the next game. Well, that's it here. You guys stay tuned for next week when those games happen here. For WDBC, I'm Ryan Bunn. I'm here with Andrew Stewart. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.